And coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, what a pop from the crowd as this guy makes the walk. Such a well-rounded fighter. And you got to think when the opponent breaks him down on film, not a lot of weaknesses jump out of the video. This is a true mixed martial artist. May not stand out in any one area, but plus skills across the board. Probably comfortable just about anywhere this fight goes tonight. This guy has world-class takedown defense. He is incredibly difficult to take down. And once you do get him down, he gets back to his feet very swiftly. With self-belief for days, here is the notorious Conor McGregor, simultaneous two-division champion in the UFC. Nobody has done that before. Probably the best left hand in the game, whether you're a featherweight or a welterweight, you do not want to get hit with that left from the notorious Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor has that it factor, along with a fantastic and creative striking game, a very good ground game, and extreme confidence in himself. All these make for a fan favorite combination. Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Mario Yamasaki. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. <laughs> This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Madrid, Spain, the Gambler. And now we'll produce his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of 21 wins, three losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Dublin Island, the notorious Connor McGregor. I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. All right, first round, you ready? You ready? Let's and go. we are underway. Good defense there. The next there with the punch. And here's a nice kick. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. 
Oh, he got he tagged with the right huge hand there as right well. Hand. Big punches here. McGregor shot is blocked. Caught him with a punch. Nice kick right there. Going out of the body with that hook. Well done there by McGregor. Joe, once again, they clinch. Good body shot. He's got over and under here. He secures double underhooks. McGregor gets the early takedown. That did not take long. He's got his back. It looks to me like he's trying to turn towards either side. Nicely executed sweep winds up in guard. He's putting his hands down on the thighs. He's looking to pass. Oh, there's a good shot from the bottom. Moved in a half guard. There he goes, side control, nice. He's trying to pry his way out of his half guard now. To full guard. Now he moves to his back. He across the midpoint in round one. Trying to spin to the back. He's back in a full guard now. He gets his back. Hits the reversal here and into full guard. Tries to pass from full guard to half guard, but can't. Conor McGregor gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta show up the defense here, though. But he's gonna transition to the back. A little bit uneventful. Sweet reversal. Nice sweep, right into half guard. Flips him over into side control. Tries to pass, but cannot. He's got half guard. And he winds up on top. Now he's back into full guard. Trying to take the back here. 90 seconds now remain in the round. He's back to side control. He's in half guard here. And he gets reversed. And busy as he looks to improve position here. He's trying to pass there, but he gets stopped. And he's going to try to take the back. Able to land with the left hand there. Back to side control. Oh, he connects there. He's looking to pass. Half guard here. He gets in a full guard here. Oh, pretty good work here from the bottom, Joe, as he tags him with that punch. Lands a punch. Tries to move to half guard, but can't. Lands a good shot from the bottom. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Well, just because you're on your back doesn't mean you can't throw offense. Staying busy here. You like to see that, Joe. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Very nice sweep. Reversal and into full guard. Yeah, he's back in the half guard here. Staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. The horn sounds for the end of round one. Listen, take a deep breath and relax. Okay, that was a good round. You won that round, but I need you to stay more active on the ground, okay? Let's take a look at it again here.
And here's another beautiful punch to the body. And here's another perfectly placed punch to the body. Incredible highlights in that round. Brittany Palmer with us. All right, round two. Switching stances here. Nice knee to the body by McGregor. Oh, that's a big block. Joe. Tags him. Hit him hard with that hook. Huge hook there. Nasty combinations here. He didn't miss with that uppercut. They're trading blows here. What an exchange. Woo! Woo! Look at that jab. Oh, big left. He's got a beautiful leg kick. <laughs> Slips the punch nicely there. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. And a left hand behind it. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Got to find a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the center line. Oh, head kick. Finds his range with the jab. Very nice. Oh, McGregor's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is gonna hurt something fierce tomorrow. Tying him up here in the clinch. Double underhooks in the clinch. Short uppercut here in the clinch by McGregor. That knee might have landed there. Oh, good series of knees here, Joe. I'm not sure how many more he can eat of these. That knee might have landed there. Once again, employing the knee. There it is. He's looking to take the back. And now into full guard. Beautiful job defending the position. Nice. Now, now he's on top in half guard. A couple of elbows to the body there. Under three minutes now remain in round two. Nice sweep. He's now working from full guard. He postures into place. McGregor gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid combinations, and that has served to keep his opponent in this fight. So let's see if he can change up the tempo a little bit with his strikes and try to put together a combination that is more damaging to his opponent. Oh, big knee! He's got him right here. Picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Lands a punch there, Joe. How about that shin? Lands an outside leg kick of his own. Just whoa! He's trying to hang on. A huge barrage of strikes all night long and finally got the TKO. Yeah, Joe, you're right. It was that one big strike that started it all to drop his opponent and then ultimately create a further opening to jump in and force the referee stoppage. So a flurry at the end of this fight and a big TKO victory for that young man here tonight. We can see it here on a different angle. There are some big shots getting through here. Vicious ground and pound combination that leads to the TKO. And here it is again. This is the beginning of the end. Huge shots. Referee stops the fight.
So a big win for him here tonight, and he made an even bigger statement by getting it by TKO. All right, we set it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop to this contest at three minutes, 41 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, the notorious Connor Well, what a legacy it has been for the two-division UFC champion Connor McGregor, and he only adds to it here tonight as he gets his hand raised yet again Doubt this man at your own peril, ladies and gentlemen. It seems like every time the doubters get on board, Connor finds a way to mute them all, and he does exactly that here tonight. Another massive, massive win for the future UFC Hall of Famer, the notorious Connor McGregor.